Hi guys, welcome to another one of my vlogs. I vlogged last weekend and that'll be the last um, vlog that you saw on my channel. Um, it is the next weekend now, it's Saturday morning. I actually had quite a lazy morning, so it's about just coming up to half past 10 now. I FaceTimed my parents, which was really nice, I spoke to them quite a bit and just kind of lounged around to be honest, which was lovely. And now I kind of need to explain to you about today. So today was supposed to be a book shopping day with myself and Julia. We've done loads of these book shopping days. It's basically where we spend a day together going around different bookshops and I normally vlog it and we kind of you know film inside the bookshops um, do a bit of bookshop shopping. I'll have all of these linked down below that we've done before if you want to go and see them. We've done several in London. So we've done like one in East London. We've done one like really big bookshops in London. Another one um, is like secondhand bookshops. Then we've also done a book shopping day in Bath as well, which was really fun. I love that. There's a vlog of that. And then also um, some book shopping in Kent too. So I'll have all of those linked down below for you to go and watch. So rather than cancel our book shopping day, because obviously we can't do it, we thought, why don't we do like a virtual one? So today we're having a virtual book shopping day. It won't be the whole day, obviously, because I think that might be a bit too intense. But at 11 a.m., um, I'm gonna call her, video call her, and we're gonna spend some time looking at our favorite bookshops. Um, across the UK so that's the good thing about virtual book shopping is it can be anywhere see which bookshops are still doing like online orders and try and order from them and I think this will be really fun because it's a nice way to support um, bookshops that are still able to um, function during these very difficult times and we get some wonderful books still which is great so I'm gonna be doing that very soon I also have some other plans as well for this weekend I want to try making some bread got about half an hour until I'm gonna call Juliet so I might see if I can start the dough off now. So we're in the kitchen now and I have my bread recipe right here. Uh, basically about a year ago, I think it was last year, maybe it was even the year before, but a long time ago, um, I went on a bread making workshop with my mum, which was so fun. And ever since then, I've thought to myself, like I should, you know, use <laughs> what I learned at that workshop um, and make some bread at home but I never found the time to do that and now you know I have I have the time so I'm actually planning to make um, olive and tomato bread which as well just sounds like it's going to be really tasty I hope if I can make it properly start that off now because it has to have like an hour to rise and all that but yeah workout for the arms. I've got my plastic bag now so the instructions say just to cover this with a plastic bag and then I've got to leave it for an hour. Here it is. Interestingly on this workshop the guy that was running it was like trying to debuff loads of baking myths and he said it didn't need to be like put in a proving drawer or anything you can just put it in a plastic bag and on the side so I've done that there. I've actually found out that I'm not going to do olive and tomato bread um, because I forgot to put them in. I didn't uh, read that part of the instructions beforehand um, and maybe that was a little bit too bold to try for like my first one so I'm just making good old plain wholemeal bread. I would have preferred to have made um, a white loaf but um, flour is very difficult to get hold of at the moment as I'm sure you know and I could only get some strong wholemeal flour so that's what I'm using. Which I suppose might mean that the recipe doesn't work, but we're gonna try. So I'm all set up ready. I've got my laptop here, ready to call Juliet in a second. I've got my banana bread here that I made earlier in the week, a nice big piece there, and my tea, and I'm ready. So I'm gonna call her now. So here's Juliet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and we are about to get book shopping. We are. So Juliet and I have found some bookshops that are still um, operate operating online. Um, and you can buy directly from them online. So right now we're just looking at Brick Lane Bookshop. I'm sharing screen with Juliet through Zoom so we can look together and we're gonna have a look through the catalogue and see if there's anything there um, that tickles our fancy. Now we are gonna look at Mr B's. We've looked at a few others since we last spoke as well. So Daunt Books, it looks like they're still um, delivering as well. So we just looked, had a quick look through some of um, their catalogue, which looks really great. Then also um, Blackwell's, Foils, Waterstones, and we're about to have a look at the big green bookshop as well. 
All right guys, so I just took out the plastic bag. It had definitely doubled in size. And then I just gave it a little bit more of a need and I put it into these two baking trays. And now it needs to go back inside the plastic bag. And it's gonna prove for another 30 minutes. So we've just had our break and now we are back. And Juliet's gonna buy a book. I am. Am I on? <laughs> you're on, you're on. <laughs> um, yes, I have been thinking while I got a new cup of tea and I'm definitely going to buy the five by someone because we saw I think it was on Blackwell's I think and it, it was, was. Three pounds off, which is such a bargain so I'm biting the bullet and I'm definitely gonna buy that yes I'm just trying there it is there it is da -da -da -da. so Juliet's just bought the five and I really want to buy this um the house on Mango Street by um Sandra Cisneros, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is from um, Mr. B's um, Emporium in Bath. Juliet and I both went, well, Juliet's been lots of times, she's from Bath, but um, I went with her when I went to go and stay with her and we did a whole vlog. Um, it's linked down below, as I mentioned earlier on this video, where we go and have a look around at this beautiful bookshop and I quite would like to support them. And um, plus I've actually never seen this edition before. Um, and this book is normally quite hard to get hold of. So I'm going to purchase this now i'm on blackwells now i'm thinking of um getting this one which is um another book by elizabeth Straub because i love her and i'm slowly reading all of her backlist books but i'm going to use um the affiliate link of um somebody that um juliet and i both follow on instagram juliet just used it as well for her purchase and that's um abby reads i'll link her in the information bar down below she's got an amazing um instagram account that's very popular so you probably already know about her but yeah, we're gonna use her affiliate link. So I'm just having a quick break from um, my chat with Julia and I'm gonna take these off. Oh, they have kind of doubled in size, which is good. Okay, so these are gonna go in the oven now. So Julia and I have been like talking through some other things we might buy and just like sharing our love of Blackwells because Blackwells online is just the place to be guys. It's oh. It's got all the deals. Anyway. I want to support Dawn Books, so I think I'm going to buy this one, The Lonely City by Olivia Lang in paperback. Um, this one I've had my eye on for a while. I think it's a beautiful cover and um, I've heard good things. I've never read an Olivia Lang. I've heard good things about her, but I've also heard good things about this book and sp specifically because it's all about um, her, ex it's non-fiction, it's all about her experience um, living in New York alone. And I went to New York this time last year and obviously we can't do any travel at the moment so maybe this will be a nice way of reliving some of those memories so I'm going to buy that now. Julia are you going to buy anything since we last spoke? Uh, yes I'm going to buy something called Nobody Told Me um, by Holly McNish which is all about um, motherhood in the modern day world and what it looks like to bring up children in today's crazy society and about gender and race and all things like that and I'm going to buy it from Foils. Okay bye! We've finished all bye. our book shopping now, bye! All right guys so we are back in the kitchen again. I said goodbye to Julia. So we had our book shopping which was really fun. I actually ended up buying four books in the end. I can't, it was quite hard to like <laughs> talk to Julia search for books online um, and film at the same time. So I'm not quite sure what I managed to capture there, but um, I managed to get four books in the end, which was potentially more than I was intending to. I think I thought like I'd get like two or three, but there we are. Um, so yeah, I think I, I think I showed you, I got um, my first book was A House on Mango Street, which I got from Mr. B's Emporium in Bath. And that's an independent bookshop. And the second was I bought um, Lonely City from Daunt Bookshop. Cause I really, I really like their bookshops in London. And then the third and fourth books I bought from Blackwells because they had some sweet deals and that was um The Burgess Boys by Elizabeth Strout um and then the other book was um Instructions for a Heatwave by Maggie O'Farrell and now I've just taken my loaves out of the oven and I think they look okay I'm gonna show you them so here they are just here yeah I think they're all right they're obviously quite hot at the moment I've just cut into this and I don't think that's half bad you know I think that's all right right from consistency. It's got a nice tap on the base as well. Nice and hollow. Now I wish I'd put the um, tomatoes and olives in it. So it's a little bit later now. We just FaceTimed our friends and their baby, which was really, really lovely. And now we're going to head out for um, a very quick walk just to get some fresh air and be outside of the flat. So we're just back from our walk now um, and we are a little bit tired. 
so lovely and sunny outside and um now we're about to watch a film we're gonna watch psycho we've been trying to watch a load of old films um that we haven't seen before and if you watched the vlog last week you'll see that we watched um like cleopatra and we watched the birds this week one evening by hitchcock and now we're watching psycho i've never seen psycho by hitchcock um but now i'm gonna So we haven't finished the film yet, we've kind of almost finished, but we thought we'd get a start on dinner. Um, tonight together we are making um, a bolognese from this Stanley Tucci recipe book that James bought for Christmas. Did you buy it for me for Christmas? Yes. This is um, the recipe, this is the cookbook, um, these are the crisps we're about to eat. We didn't realise that you have to like simmer it for like an hour to an hour and a half, so hmm. So we're gonna eat these crisps in the meantime while we're waiting. So I think it's just about ready to put on simmer mode. Mm -mm -mm. And here is the finished spaghetti with the wrong kind of cheese on, but it's gonna taste good nonetheless. Good morning guys. So it's the next day now, it's Sunday morning and we are attempting a new breakfast. We're trying to do smashed avocado um, on the bread that I made yesterday, toasted with poached eggs and the poached eggs are proving a little bit difficult we don't have any white wine vinegar but we have this like strange kind of contraption that somebody gave us a long time ago that's supposed to do poached eggs in the microwave but they don't quite work however you know we're doing our best so this is the finished result this is james's one which i have lovingly given to him which i think looks better much nicer and then this is my one where we had a bit of an issue with the egg but i'm sure it'll taste great Hi guys, so it's actually the evening now. <laughs> um, I haven't been very good at updating you today, but basically today we've just done loads of Zoom calls, to be honest. This morning we had um, church through Zoom, um, which we did last week as well. If you watched that vlog, you've seen that, um, which was really great. By the way, because it's a Zoom now, anyone can access um, these services. And um, if you're at all interested, it doesn't matter where you live in the world, you can always tune in as well. Um, they're on Sunday mornings at 10am and I'll leave them linked in the information box down below. I don't know, maybe if you have some questions or you're feeling like you might need some kind of comforting or what's going on in the world has had you questioning some things perhaps you might want to tune in so i'll leave that link down below they always make me feel great they're kind of a highlight of the week all the time but particularly at the moment anyway after that we went for a walk and then we zoomed both our families um just lots of zooming but um that was really nice to speak to them it's just kind of evening now sunday evening and Monday tomorrow back to work which basically means like back to working in that other room over there anyway I hope you enjoyed this vlog guys if you have done any virtual book shopping yourself I'd love to know what you bought and where you bought it from do leave it in a comment down below this video but that is it for now guys thank you very much for watching and I'll be back next week bye